Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you how to play Mario Kart CTGP Revolution um, on Wii Flow or USB loader with a Mario Kart Wii ISO. So all you will need for this video is a Nintendo Wii with the Homebrew channel installed, um, Wii Flow or USB Loader GX installed, um, it's entirely up to you, you can use either. You'll also need a USB. So once you've got all these things, go ahead and connect your USB to your PC and I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave links to everything on this video in the description. Um, this first page right here, I won't leave a link to this because this doesn't exactly work. But I'm just going to show you guys. So this is the official CTGP Revolution page. Um, if you go ahead and just click get it right here and then just click begin. As you can see, it asks, do you have a Mario Kart Wii game disc? If you select no then it says you need a Mario Kart game disc to play this. So the creator of this doesn't exactly like Wii Flow or USB Loader GX and that is why he wants everyone to have a Mario Kart Wii disc in order to play. But anyway, this link, um, I will leave this in the description. Um, this is how you can play Mario Kart CTGP um, without having to have the actual disc. So if you just click on show right here, so this will explain how to install it on Wii Flow or USB Loader. So USB Loader is my favorite, so I'm going to be using that in this video. Right guys, so all you want to do is download these two files, um, they're two separate parts, so just open them up both in a web browser. Um, this is the first part, so just click download on this one. And then this one right here is the second part, so just click download on that. So now if you head over to your PC's download folder, you should find these three files. So right here is my Mario Kart Wii ISO. So I got this by backing up my disk game. You guys can get it however you want. And then I've got these two zip files right here. So this one is probably corrupt. So if you go to the one with the 001 at the end, right click and then do extract here. You'll find that both of these files um, will extract together into the same file folder. So just give this a few seconds um, to a minute and then just wait for it to complete. Right guys, so once that has completed, you can now select these two files here and just right click and delete them. Now all you want to do guys is get your Mario Kart Wii ISO and just drag and drop it into this folder right here. Then just go into the folder. Now you must remember um, what region your ISO is. So I know mine is USA. So as you can see right here, we've got CrateJapan.bat, CratePower.bat and CrateUSA.bat. Depending on what region that ISO is, you want to run one of these files. So mine's USA, so I'm just going to double click this bat file to run it. Now don't worry guys, I know this looks kind of dodgy I guess, but basically what this is doing is converting that original Mario Kart Wii ISO into the CTGP Revolution um, modified ISO. So this may take quite a while, as you can see it's on 14% already. Um, just give this maybe like 5 minutes to complete or something like that. Okay, once it has finally finished, you'll get this message right here that just says press any key to continue. So do that, press any key, um, then it's just going to close. And the files that you want to copy across are these two right here. So you've got new image and Mario Kart Wii with all the necessary um, files and folders in. So all you want to do is copy these two files across to your USB. And guys, um, so I just plugged in my USB right now. And if you just check it, so if I go on my properties, um, as you can see, my USB is FAT32, so that is the perfect format for this. So all I have to do is just drag and drop them across. Now, I've already done that because it did actually take a long time. But with the new image file, um, this is what you have to do. So if you go into it, you will find a file in here. All you have to do is just create a new file called WBFS, and that is where the game goes into. So let me just show you guys if you don't understand. So this file will normally be a new image, all you have to do is drag it onto a USB root and then put it in WBFS. And that is it for the USB guys, all you need is a WBFS file, you can even delete that. WBFS file, Mario Kart Wii file with all the folders in and now I'll show you guys how to play it on your Wii. Right guys, so when you want to connect your USB to your Nintendo Wii, you have to use this port right here. 
Alright guys, so once you're on your Wii and the USB is connected in the right USB slot, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up the homebrew channel. From here you can go ahead and launch USB Loader GX or Wii Flow. Um, I prefer the USB Loader GX so I'm just going to load up that. And now on the home screen you will find Mario Kart so all you want to do is just press A to launch it. And then it comes up with a picture of this guy and all you have to do is just press A to continue. And there it is guys, that is how you play Mario Kart Wii CTGP Revolution on USB loader or Wii Flow. So just press A to continue and then you guys can just, um, you know, play it as normal, just select your player and stuff like that. Let me just show you guys that it works. So the creator of this mod um, doesn't actually like USB loader or Wii Flow. Um, that's why they don't include it in their guide. Um, obviously this might not be the latest version, I'm not too sure. But if you guys are really interested in this mod, um, I would recommend just playing it actually on the disc instead of actually um, playing it off you know your ISO backup. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.